Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing this Happy Christmas um, treat bag or gift bag. It's really elegant so it's more of an adult bag. I was really inspired by this music paper. I love this paper and you know it fits Christmas just perfectly. So this is our this uh, Christmas designer series paper and it's the specialty designer series paper. I've shown you this before. It's got absolutely beautiful patterns and it's a lot thinner than our regular designer series paper but you get also twice as much so a great value for this designer series paper. But So that's what I'm going to use for this and I'm using our oval uh, layering ovals and the Christmas stamp that I'm using is this Oh What Fun and this is actually in our annual catalog. It was from last year and it's one that I always go to because it has every sentiment on it. I just love this set and I even I've used this more than some of my new sets this year because I just love the sayings that are on it. So I wanted to use the Happy Christmas and it just fit this perfectly. So this is the bag I'm sharing today and it's a super easy bag but what really makes it is this little um, tag I think. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll need for this is a, a piece that's, and this is our very vanilla because it goes with the designer series paper and it's eight and a half by seven. And actually, I didn't cut this down yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut it down. I thought I had it all ready. So we're going to cut it at eight and a half by seven. So this is eight and a half already. So we're just going to cut it to seven. All right, so there we go. Now it's eight and a half by seven. I thought it looked big when I pulled it out, but um, that's what you're gonna need for that. And then for our matting pieces, you are going to need two that are two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And see how beautiful the other side is? But I really love the music. That's why um, I wanted to, to use it for this. And then you're gonna need some scrap, um, Emerald Envy, which is our new in color, and then your Cherry Cobbler, some scrap, and then you're going to need also a piece of Cherry Cobbler for to cut up our, our scallop ovals from. So you'll need a pretty good size for two of those. And these are just for our Petite Petal Punch and for our Ivy that we're going to be using uh, for our, yeah, our Ivy for that. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and score this. And I love that Emerald Envy with the Cherry Cobbler. It's just beautiful together. So if you have that, try putting it together because it's really, really pretty. Okay, so on the eight and a half inch side, we are going to score it at one half. And again, I'm going to score it on this side like I always do. And then you're going to score it at three and a half four and a half and seven and a half and we're going to turn it and score it at six inches so it just gives us our little bottom flaps there this is almost like one of those two four six eight boxes or bags so this is just a little bit bigger than that. So we're going to cut this little rectangle off on the corner here. I hope you can see this because it seems like I've got a glare today. And then um, on the bottom we're going to cut to the first score line and I'm always cut a little bit out of here just to make it uh, fold a little bit better and then also on this last one here. Okay, now we're ready to mat it. So let's get our sheet music out. I'll grab some best views. I need to order fast views. It's almost out. I just ran out of one and I'm almost out of this one. I could tell it's getting 
so let's set that on the larger one and it fits almost perfectly I wanted it to cover most of the area and then we'll do the other one if I'm in a hurry I always mess up my little check Alright, make sure your music is all going the same way. Actually, this one, it doesn't matter. Some seem to be upside down and some are right side up, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and let's put it together. So first, let's sharpen all our score marks here. And we're going to add adhesive to this side here. Use your tear and tape or your fast fuse. You want it to stay together for a long time. And you see I'm not doing the sides. We're going to squeeze the sides in and I just thought that would be a ways to do the sides. And then you're going to fold your flap in. And on this one it doesn't matter because you can use either side for your front. So this is going to be my front since this goes back. It just looks really nice. Alright, to hold this bag together I'm using our gold binder clips. I'm just going to stick it on there real quick to hold the bag together and then we're going to go ahead and make our tag. These are great because they're really, really strong um, clips and they're really nice because they're gold. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and stamp on some very vanilla. I'm going to stamp our sentiment. And I'm actually using Versamark and I embossed it with our gold emboss. So we're going to use the Versamark. Oh, I forgot to use my static thing, but hopefully we'll be okay. I do that every time I do a video. I usually really good about using it when I'm first working up the project. <laughs> All right, so cover that really good. This gold emboss is so beautiful. If you have problems getting your, um, if you get some of that powder all over, use a bounce sheet and it will take that off really nicely. Alright, I'm going to get my heat tool and we're going to emboss that. And I'll go ahead and speed through the video because it's so noisy. Okay, isn't that pretty? It's so pretty when it's embossed. Alright, so I'm going to grab the big shot here really quick. And I'm using my magnetic platform. And I'm using the one base plate there. I'm going to grab my ovals. These are the ovals and I'm actually using the largest scallop and this one is like the second largest, um, no the third largest oval. So we're going to go ahead and run this through. Just center it and the magnetic platform is perfect for this. And we'll have that cut out. So we have our Happy Christmas. And then I'm going to run it through twice for. Oops. These scallops. So I need two of these. Okay, so we have our two scallops and our Happy Christmas. So now we're ready to put this together 
and I'm going to just use some Best Fuse again. And we're attaching that. And let's go ahead and punch out our pieces that we need. This is the Petite Petal Punch, and you're going to need two of those. And I've used this punch a million times. I love this for everything. I just kind of made it a poinsettia, or poinsettia, however you say it. And then this one, I'm just going to uh, do two of these holly berries. Not berries, but holly leaves. Okay, so now, and I also have a piece of foil, and I'm just using a regular hole punch, and this is our gold foil paper, and that's going to be our centerpiece. So I need my, I'm going to use my Tombow here. set your holly on first and I think I oh I, I did three of them actually so let's go ahead and do one more I thought one was missing and then this one goes in the center just don't cover your your words And then these two I used glue dots. And I actually just kind of pop these up a little bit with my fingers just to make them look a little bit more dimensional. And put it together and just stagger the leaves. And then we'll use another glue dot to attach it. To the leaves here. And then one more dot of Tombow for the centerpiece. I don't want to mess that one up, so. And then you can you can fool with this and make it then pop up these leaves a little bit more, just so it looks more dimensional. And get in a guess what I forgot my gold my little gold um, trim here. And what I did actually let me see if I can get that before it's dried. There we go. And I just kind of fooled with it with my fingers, rolled it up like that, and I didn't use that whole amount there, I didn't use a whole lot, just gather it up underneath and there is a glue dot there, I may need another one because I think that one I kind of unstuck, let's see if I can I like to loop it a little bit more. I think that's going to get it right there. Okay, add the glue dot right in the back. Another one. And then we're going to put that there. Yeah, that, that's good. And then, Okay, so we're all done with that part. Okay, so let's grab our ribbon. And I'm using the Cherry Cobbler and the Emerald Envy. And this comes in a pack together. It's in our holiday catalog, and I used about 12 inches. So I'm just going to cut about there. And then I just held it in my hands and looped it over like that. And I actually used glue dots to hold it all together. So. Just use a couple. So I put one here. And then right in the 
in the center just like that and then on the back I ran some fast fuse and then we're just gonna put it on just like this and we can trim these as long as we want them I, I like them to all go the all the opposite way or the same way I guess alright so that's all ready now we're gonna just attach this to the back and what I did was I just used some fast fuse on it or you can use your Tombow. It gives you a little bit more time to line up the little scallops. And I just didn't want it showing from the back, so that's why I did that. All right, now we're ready to attach it to the bag. So all we did was I just put it under there, just like that. And you can, I kind of brought it around just like that. So there you have it. It's super cute, super elegant. I really just really love these. Um, it's just a lot of fun to do. And it really, when you give this to someone, I think that they'd be really happy um, to see a handmade gift like this. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies for this project, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com. I am starting to list all the score um, measurements and stuff on my blog because I've had a few people ask me to put the measurements on there now. So I'm trying to do it every video. So you can check out my supply list and the measurements on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. So everyone, until the next one, have a blessed day, and I'll catch you later. Bye.